All right, so what's up guys? Today, I'm on my way to my school. Today's Sunday. I have class tomorrow. How to get there comfortably. I'll meet Alex there. And then we're gonna go to a mall where we're gonna go and look for a skateboard because we're in the city and it's gonna be a lot easier to get around the city with the skateboard when it's really hot outside. That's a little breeze too. Now, last night what I did, I think it's a good idea, is I have Google Maps and I added a pen drop to my house, his house, and my school so that I always, I always have a map and know where it's at. And I advise you guys to do the same thing. While I'm walking, my host mom told me, uh, Xavier, don't have your phone out. And if you do, hold everything tightly because apparently here, you can get your stuff stolen like right out of your hand. Like right now, I got a death grip on both my cell phone and my camera. Can't let that stop me from getting the experience and bringing my experience to you guys. Driver's on his way. Right there. Right there. Right here. Sí. Cab driver just told me the same exact thing everybody's been telling me about this camera, having this camera in my hand. That like somebody can come and just snatch it out of my hand. I might want to take them seriously now. Oh, see, Alex trying to take it too. <laughs> All right, it's getting serious. I'm getting nervous. The cab driver told me that. All right, so the skate shop was closed, so we're gonna go back tomorrow and uh, see if we can get one then. But right now we're at a mall, just looking around. So check this out. Make sure the paint doesn't fall off. <laughs> no, he ain't doing nothing. Head out the mall and go to the next location. I'm gonna put the camera away while I'm walking outside. It's gonna get snatched up. It might happen right now. But I'll see you on the street. We're at Mall 2. This one's a lot bigger. Check this out. I'm such a tourist. Golly. So, <laughs> it's so obvious. I look, like a, I look like a tourist right now. I told Alex, if we get robbed, it's my fault. I got a backpack on, camera on my hand. I just walked in here. <laughs> I just walked in here. I just saw electronics like my body like gravitated towards like technology. I have a problem. Alex brought up a good point. Everything here costs a lot more. The only thing that costs less is like taxis and food. And I don't even think food costs that much. Like, I think food costs a lot here too. Yeah. What's up guys? Um, kind of will tell you guys how the rest of the day kind of played out. After uh, Alex and I left the second mall, Alex, we all went, we both went back to our houses. Alex went back out uh, to meet with the girl that he, you know, did this with. And I kind of just went in my room and finished unpacking and really didn't do anything else for the rest of the night. And I thought I would come out here and talk to you guys about kind of my first my first three and a half days here in Ecuador kind of was really hard for me because I had so much Spanish being thrown at me and I, I guess school is starting tomorrow and I'm going I'm here to better my Spanish but I can already feel that I'm getting more comfortable speaking Spanish to people who are do not speak English at all today in the taxi cab I was talking to my taxi driver 
and was able to answer all those questions without struggling and having to stop and think. Like as you're around and you're myth mystifying yourself, if I'm saying that right, if you're mystifying yourself and being surrounded by that language, you're really gonna start picking up on things. Your brain's gonna start subconsciously start to pick up on words. Like I didn't even understand every single word he said, but I did understand kind of the small bits and pieces of it and was able to come up with the response. And they understand that I am here to learn Spanish and that it's not gonna be 100%, but I'm able to communicate my message. Me being here three days early and having this three day kind of get adjusted, get all your sleep, you know, get the, the Spanish speaking engine going and really be helpful for me going into the classroom for the next three months and eventually into my internship that I have next month here and so far it's been a great experience. If you guys wanted to know what's behind me is kind of the other parts of Ecuador. This here, this thing over there, that's the bridge and the rest of that is like other parts of Guayaquil. Kind of the big things I've learned today as far as um, studying abroad, being here on my own was one, Booking your flight in advance and knowing your flight itinerary was really helpful for me. Um, I did have some last minute stuff come up and had to switch my flights around. So I'd highly suggest don't jump the gun too early, but don't wait too late. Uh, another thing that I've learned is um, Google Maps. Google Maps in the last three days has been a big help for me, kind of settling in, kind of figure out where things were at. I use Google Maps to pinpoint my house, my friend's house, and um, for you, the other students in the program and my school, because those are like the two biggest places I'm gonna be at the most. And as I become familiar with the area and I see you know, special places I'm gonna go to and I'm in a car in, I'm gonna pin drop those areas too and kind of go back to them. So downloading apps like Uber uh, is really helpful. Um, here in Ecuador, they don't have Uber. They have a thing called Cabify, which is almost the exact same thing as Uber. It's a different logo and it's in Spanish. That kind of saved my life um, not relying on public transportation and because I've kind of seen and heard bad things about the public transportation so having that app and only paying like two to three dollars for a ride was really helpful for me just being safe and always just knowing you're at where you're at always watch your surroundings um, what I kind of happened to me today matter of fact as I was walking down here a little kid was on the sidewalk crying really sad kid and I felt really bad for him I stopped and talked to him and I really couldn't do anything and I told him you know buenas suerte which means good luck and I'm sorry I couldn't help him I, couldn't, I don't know where his pants were at and I walked away as I walk away I get like a block away and I look back and this kid is just standing there completely fine one guy walks by completely ignores him if he was in a true situation he would have stopped the next person behind him and asked there was a couple who were spanish speaking who were able to help him so it's kind of watch out for stuff like that too like the little kids like they'll get you too the people out here hustle at all ages so i was kind of just those are my biggest biggest things that i've learned in the last three days more i'm gonna come back and tell you guys everything that i learned i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like it please if, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe so I can give you guys more information. If you didn't like it, if you didn't feel like it was good, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I wish you guys the best of luck with your semester, your endeavors, whatever you guys want to do. You guys have a good night. I wonder what's going on over there. We gotta check this out.